Today I got my Timber Ridge folding wagon. Now as you can see, this thing is taller than the usual uh, wagon that's out there. Um, this is double decker. So let's see. It's about 8 inch by about 11, 11, 11 to 12, 12 inch. And the height is about, and this is when it's folded. So that's about 35 inch. So that's something to think about when you're going to bring this. So let's um, see how much this thing weighs. So let me put it in my trusty scale. So about 27, 27 kilograms, 27.6 pounds. Okay, there you go, 26.7 pounds. So it's not that heavy. Let's open it up and see how this thing works. So. Okay. So take off this. That's the handle. So I guess this is the. Uh... Okay, there you go. So let's put it aside and open this thing up. <clears throat> okay, so there's a strap underneath that you have to undo. So let's see. I gotta undo this strap. And then there's another one on the other side. And I should be able to pull this easily. There you go. Okay. Next. Let me see. Let me just pull the thing out of the way. Sorry about the noise. And then. There's another strap for the body, and it's right here. Okay, so let me undo that strap. So let me undo that strap for you. There you go. And then, all I need to do... Okay, let's pull this thing open. There you go. So let's push this in the middle. There you go. And we're going to put in the floor cover. So I didn't realize this is as tall as this. So there you go. And cover. And back up a bit as you can see there's two levels to this thing one on the neat and one on the top well the good thing about it is that because it's a uh, waste then it's easier for you to uh, pick things up put things in there and uh, but let's see how tall this thing is so it should be the same 35 so this is 35 inch and it's about thirty five in width and length and it's about K18 and about twelve inch deep deep. Uh, 11, 11 and a half inch deep. Again, gotta push this. By the way, this is the instruction. I'm not a big fan of instruction. Just want to go right through it. Okay, so what do we have here? 
if I turn this around, uh, let's look at the wheels. See this thing keeps popping up. It keeps popping up. That's what I just noted. Okay, so we have this. Okay. And okay. There's a there's a switch at the sides of the handle. So let me pull this one. There you go. So there's a switch right at the side. Side right here. This one on both sides. So you have to just depress it and then just pull this thing. So it's uh, it's barely the handle is barely long, which is good. Um, for something this big, you want the handle to be that long. A little bit messy here but you know anyway here you go there you go and just pull it locks it up it doesn't have a uh, something to attach this onto as you can see there's nothing to, for this to latch onto but it doesn't go all the way unless you push it down so if you just let it go it will come back up because of the design now let's go to the wheels okay so i don't know if you could see this it's a plastic wheel about this i think it is about eight inches let's see Yeah, it's it's an inch, eight inch wheels, and as you can see, this is plastic, and right at the middle, there's a uh, rubber. And one of the things that I've seen in some of the reviews is this rubber comes off. I don't really know how that happened, but I guess that's something that I'll find out. And then. On the side, you have some pockets here. Let's see. There's some pockets on the side. The only thing though, you know, you have these pockets here, but it's really hitting this. So, if you can put something in here, yeah, that's not well thought. Because, yeah, this thing is going to hit the these things but you have it if, you know if you want to put something on it you you have it uh, uh, there's there's the side go here side there and then let's move it around it's not difficult to maneuver you see I can move it fairly easy with one hand and then here Okay, so there's a platform here that I could pull down, as you can see. Okay, let me just make some adjustments here. Okay, pick this up. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is fairly long, and they do say that it will fit the. Uh, you know, if you have a canopy, a long canopy, it'll fit. So let's see if I can figure out how long this is. Okay. Okay. With one hand here, sorry about that. Okay, this is about 53 inch long, 53 inches, as you can see. Yeah, 53 inches. Now, can 
you put something in here I wouldn't put something in here oh see my hand is on the camera now but I really wouldn't put something in here unless yeah you know I've seen some photos or that uh, they're putting a child in here I wouldn't do that um, at the middle you see there's a bulge it just it's because of that you know it's connected to the top right so I guess you have to disconnect it if you're gonna put something inside you have to disconnect it but you have to remember to reconnect it if you're gonna pull it up or it you know when you pull it it's not this thing is not gonna go with the top so let me see if I can get something okay I got a cooler in here it's about 26 quart and as you can see there's a lot there's still a lot of space here just to show you how big this thing is and again this this is small cooler this is about sorry about nine inch by nine inch by 16 but you still have a lot of space here I still got about uh, I would say about roughly 20 20 inch of space so, and that's aside from the fact that you have a whole bunch of space underneath so let's take it outside and try to put some things underneath okay see you outside so let me tell you that for its size this thing is fairly easy to maneuver go around again you see that this thing is not falling down because of that design let's grab some things from from the garage let's see how it fits in there and there you go that is a full-size canopy it's a 10 by 10 and I have here another beach uh, canopy here so that's the good thing about this uh, particular cart you have the uh, bottom where you can put all those long ones and then you have the top one you can where you can put your cooler and other stuff that you have so you don't have to go back around uh, trying to hold different things and yeah and there you go yeah I mean this is this is good that this is on top like I said it's easy to grab some things off it you know grab things off it and then put it back in uh, so let's see, I'm gonna take it off put it back in you know, I, uh, at least for me it's easier uh, when I don't have to bend so much and at the same time I have this huge huge platform at the bottom where I can put stuff in and it's not gonna fall because you, you see this nets in here so there's a net so if you put some stuff underneath um, it's not gonna fall yeah there you go um, the only thing I'm worried about this thing is about the wheels uh, that's the one that I saw in the reviews where this thing comes off so I guess that's uh, that's the part where I had to uh, you know take a look and then use it for a bit and see what happens okay now how do you pull it back okay, okay let's get back let's go get to that uh, right now okay. when you're folding it back one of the things that you have to make sure is underneath that you make sure you clip this on so together As you can see you can do it with one hand and then this thing right here the flap you just undo the lock on both sides and then pull it up there you go and then you can just lock it in place right here 
There you go. I'm not gonna do the other one. And then remove this bottom here and then put it back where I got it. And I don't remember where I got it. So I'm gonna put it right I'm gonna put it right here at the end. Okay. Or you know what? I'm gonna do that later. So So all you need to do is pull up the middle, pull up the center. Oops, see that, see that? That means, oh, it's still attached. It's good. Okay, and then pull it together. Pull it together like that. And really that's about it. And all you have to do is put in the straps and then put in the top cover and you're done it's not hard it's not it's fairly easy to do um, I have a bit of a struggle just because of the fact that I'm using one hand but aside from that this is really easy to, to do okay so again thanks thanks for watching